join me in welcoming Jan Correa and Martha Zaragoza Diaz to the stage. Good morning, buenos dias. Como están? It is a great day at CAVE 2019. I'm Jan Gusses in Correa, the CEO for CAVE, and honored to be here with our CAVE lobbyist in Sacramento, Martha Zaragoza Diaz. Let's give her a round of applause. You know, CAVE is about celebrating language, our vision for biliteracy, educational equity, and 21st century success for all. We know that to put powerful practice in place, we have to have power, powerful policy. And so Martha, in her role in Sacramento, has helped us move that agenda forward for many, many years. Every year we come to you at our annual conference to share with you the latest in what we're doing legislatively and ask for your support and your, in your participating in an urgent action. So I'm going to ask you to dig into your tote bags right now. Martha, you can hold up your paper. You're going to see a white paper with a red um, logo that says, Take Action. This year, CAVE is partnering with our key partners, Californians Together, and Early Edge, and the Advancement Project to support AB 1012, Assembly Bill 1012, which is being sponsored by Assembly Member Eloise Reyes. Who's from the San Bernardino area, Inland Empire? Excellent. Eloise is ours. She's our, our assembly member from that area. She's a great supporter of bilingualism and biliteracy. And this is our bill that CAVE, Californians Together, the Advancement Project, and Early Edge are working on. And we need your help. And Martha's going to share with you a few of the details and how you can be a part of this process. Martha? Good morning, everyone. It's so wonderful to see all of your faces and your enthusiasm and your participation here at the CABE 2019 conference. It's wonderful to see you all. Of course, we do have important business in the Capitol to take care of, and I am really respectfully requesting you to please sign our action alert letter on our sponsored bill AB 1012 by Assembly Member Reyes. AB 1012 will further invest in establishing new dual language immersion and developmental bilingual programs and in building the bilingual teacher capacity that we all know currently exists in order for them to be able to teach our students in our classrooms, especially in our bilingual, bilingual classrooms. AB 1012 proposes to, um, uh, geez, proposes to uh, receive three years of funding for our very important programs that include the Bilingual Teacher Professional Development Program, our credential teachers that teach in ECE bilingual programs or just in B um, ECE programs that wish to become bilingual and instruct their dual language learner children in their programs. And um, we're also asking for and most importantly, seed funding for AB 2514 by Assemblymember Thurman of last year. If you will recall, AB 2514 sought funding for Los, uh, LEAs to be able to maintain their existing dual language immersion programs or to establish new dual language immersion programs along with our developmental bilingual programs. In addition, AB 2514 called for uh, funding for LEAs who are, were also interested in establishing bilingual early childhood education programs. So this bill would provide funding for that very important piece of legislation that was signed by the governor, but unfortunately we weren't able to um, get funding at that time, but we're seeking the three-year funding this year. And what's even more exciting about this bill is the fact that we're also seeking funding for um, the ability for our universities to be able to hire additional faculty and retain those faculty for our bilingual teacher preparation programs at the CSU, UC, and private university levels, as well as community colleges, because they credential our ECE teachers. So anyway, Please sign that letter. I need your help. I will personally deliver those letters to Assemblymember 
Reyes so that she can show at the Assembly Education Committee hearing all of the support that we have in our bill, AB 1012, and on your bill, AB 1012. So thank you. Thank you, Martha. So as you sign your letter, keep it out. Don't put it back in your bag. As you leave the hall today, we'll have wonderful members of our partner groups from Californians Together, from the English Learner Leadership and Legacy Initiative and others that will be at the door collecting the letters and we'll bring them to Sacramento on behalf of CABE. Muchas gracias.